the other day the zip arrived for that grey hoodie that I am going to be resurrecting um, but it turns out that um, I don't know how I ordered a zip that's too short so I've put that one into my Etsy store and I've ordered the right one so hopefully that'll turn up next week so I can and I was going to do a video about it and I'd started recording video because I recorded how I take the old zip out and all that sort of thing and I can't find the footage I don't know whether I didn't actually hit record or whether I accidentally deleted it I've looked in the recycle bin it's not there I don't know where it's gone um, I may have accidentally deleted it so I am still going to do a video about how I do it but um, it's going to be minus the footage of me actually taking the thing apart because it's gone and the zip's already out I can't put it back in and do it again so I'm going to wait for the new zip to turn up and then I will do a bit of a talk through based on what I w thought I had recorded and just talk about that and then do the how I put the new zip in it's not going to be as interesting a video because half the footage is now missing really irritating I've only done this a couple of times before I do sometimes find it really easy to think I've hit record and I haven't and find that I'm just talking to myself sometimes um, and sometimes you can just re-record it but not when it's like sometimes it happens when I'm cooking something or like when I'm doing a repair job and you can't go back and undo what you've just done anyway so when that turns up I will I, I will do that as a separate video I think depending on how much there is there all right so another zip a longer zip it's a little bit too long but it's not difficult to sort out so I've already taken out the zip off of the hoodie and this is what it now looks like so what I'm going to do is you can see where the edge is where the zip was you can see the the lines from the old stitching so what you need to do is just fold that top bit back and now that stitch line there which is left from the previous zip is now my gauge for where I'm going to put the the new stitch so I'm going to start at the bottom let's get this in the right way hard to see from here let me try and move you around a bit so this is the bottom of the hoodie this is the, the waist waistline so I'm going to fold this back here's the zip and I'm just going to lie that edge against that edge so now you can see that's flush and I'm just going to pop a pin in that bottom bit just to hold it in place for the moment and then I can do the same with the other side which I will do after I've sewn it so all I'm going to do now because this is nice and easy is start sewing follow the existing stitch line and just do a straight stitch all the way up I've left the zip this is a this is not a concealed zip so you will see the zip but I don't think that's a problem for something like this so this will remain visible and I can just fold that line in and let it sit flush with the edge of the zip and because I'm sewing there it's not going to get in the way of the actual zip so I'm going to do this now um, I'm going to have to turn you round again right bit shiny don't know how much of that you're going to see so I'm just going to use a regular foot on my machine because there's enough width there that I don't have to worry and all I'm going to do is you may not be able to see it very well from where you are but I'm going to fast forward it anyway because you don't need to watch all of this 
Right, get the machine going. Hopefully, I have enough grey on my spool. I suspect I'm going to run out of cotton, but we'll see how we get on. So, off we go. we now have is that this zip is slightly longer than the thing. So what I'm going to do is theoretically you just need to fold back but it's quite long so what I'm going to do is just snip it. I'm just going to snip the end. This is 
is not very even. I don't know. Because it's too long and that is just going to stick in me and drive me nuts. I might just fold that one back. And then the other one, I'm going to have to snip shorter. It's too long. Because the problem is I've got a, a, a zip that also has um, a stretchy fabric. So, of course, it's not... It's not landed evenly, surprise, surprise, and I, but I don't care enough to get it right. So all I'm going to do is just, it's not going to be spot on, but, you know, when you're repairing old stuff, I think I'm probably going to use this hoodie for my cleaning work, because I quite like to use the other two as proper wearable stuff and this one's already a bit knackered. So does that one. So yeah, if I just use this hoodie for my cleaning work then if I get bleach on it and whatever it doesn't matter. And now I can relinquish both my other ones back to the reason I had them in the first place, which was to wear them. not done an amazing job on this, I'm not going to lie. I'm repairing old stuff I found on the street. I mean, how good does it have to be, you know? It'll do. So, there we are. Zip in a hoodie. It's a bit big for me as well anyway, but again... It'll do for what I need. And then when it's knackered, I can just uh, take out the zip again and put it on something else. Because you never know when you're going to need to do that. It'll do. I should probably try it on really, shouldn't I? I've never even tried this on since I washed it. Take this jumper off because it's huge. Yeah, this is a man's size anyway. It's not that massive actually. No, it's not that massive at all. That'll do for what I need. It's got marks down it anyway, but for just, uh, and it's got pockets, quite deep pockets actually, but just for the cleaning work. If it rains, I've got a hood. <laughs> It'll do. That's a job done. Only ended up costing me 2 99 I've put the other zip back into my Etsy store, so hopefully I can sell that and at least get the money back on it. Back into the yellowness. Best jumper ever. Right, job done.